250 students nishina aji girl child education gender equality or women empowerment upor message or awareness ki buni mile aji school students kan women empowerment rally thakishe chumukheti mare formal program de kuzin ye with your additional deputy commissioner chumukheti ma prakushe nagaland inheritance system thagyano saigina inheritance issue do botli kuile bal hobo kushe aji rally program do department of arts and culture chumukheti ma pra organize kushe raja ram mohan noi laga 250th birth anniversary mani gina We are emphasizing again on women empowerment is that Nagaland being a very different oriented state, I would say, we are mostly indulged in cultural and historical things. Now when we come to the, I, when I say to the cultural reorientation things, the main backdrop for the backwardness of our women society is because of the systems which are mostly inherited. One system is that, here we don't see much of the forced marriage systems, but one thing what I want to say on women empowerment is the system of inheritance. Still it's prevailed in Nagaland. Because if I'm not mistaken, in most of the community women don't inherit. So, I think it's the purview of the government if they can think and rearrange, rearrange the system where women can be empowered is one thing is the reorientation of the inheritance system. That there are, in addition to this, there are many taboos and restrictions where women are restricted. So it is high time that the government take up these issues so that the set and aim and idea where this reorientation should be setting. When we look at the present scenario, I wish to say that we are happy also in Nagaland, in Nagaland state, I won't say that women are less empowered. Because in every academic session or in every competitive exam, in every field, women are going faster. The only thing is that when we talk about uh, women empowerment, there is a confusion between empowerment and reservation. That is the main problem what we are facing now. Actually, reservation as such is not empowerment. But we have been emphasizing mostly on reservation for women. So I would say on this day, to empower women, the basic thing is education. In my personal view, I feel that basic empowerment would be education because once a person is educated, they are empowered. They know what to do. They know what is their right. They know which way they should go. The second thing is we should have respect for gender equality. Gender equality is something which is not an entity which is to be implemented, but that is a social responsibility which everyone should understand. And the third thing I would say for women empowerment is at identifying the area where they fit. Because most of the time we say empowerment and reservation, but we are putting some wheels into some place where they don't fit. So empowerment in the sense, I would say, it is one way in which, where women feel comfortable. Empowerment is not an entity or substance which is given to someone so that they improve. But it is a system that change or provides the beneficiaries to produce more or to work better. I would like to request all the students in this competitive world, let's not look only for empowerment, but let's all strive to go for the best, give your best, because there is a total competition with 
between even boys and girls. In every field we see these days that women are coming in Nagaland context, women are being more empowered. To Kwanchin Aji program, or relate to Rajaram Mohan Ray Library Foundation Pratikan sponsor Kordisha. Or Amika Nitu organized Kuratu, Department of Art and Culture, Pra organized Kurusha. So the main aim, objective of this uh, Relent program was to spread awareness of women empowerment to public and uh, to all the people with their participation of uh, 250, around 250 school going children, students, to like mostly uh, students. So the, like, uh, the main objective was to spread awareness on women empowerment. For, to empower women, I think we need to educate, especially girls, nah? because like uh, in some, maybe in town areas too, I don't know, but in rural areas, this, that, women, some girls are not getting like given proper education. So I just want to say so like educate your girl, woman, empower them. <laughs>